Okay, now let's move on to the next question, which is question number 66. Again, this question is related to polymer chemistry, wherein they have asked the formation of which of the following polymers involves hydrolysis reactions. So all the polymers that you might have studied, they have been prepared by a particular process. First is you would have addition polymers, condensation polymers, right? Addition polymers wherein a multiple bonded system becomes a single bonded system to chains, uh, many chains are interlinked or connected to each other, right? So that's particularly out of question. Right, and then you have condensation wherein small molecules are removed, right? Something is removed, like water molecule is removed. That is definitely not hydrolysis. So that means you could have nylon 6, 6 and terylene, which is the incorrect answer. And then, then comes the bakelite. Bakelite is basically phenol and formaldehyde polymer. So phenol and formaldehyde polymer, it undergoes some sort of addition reactions, but that's definitely not a hydrolysis. So the only option which is left out is nylon 6. Now let's try to understand what exactly happens in nylon 6. So nylon 6, the monomer is epsilon caprolactam. And what exactly happens, right? So epsilon caprolactam, so let me draw the structure first. So I'm going to write N and I'm going to write a carbonyl group over here. It's a seven member ring, so one, two, then I have the third one, then I have the fourth one, then I have fifth one, sixth one, and seventh one. Now I'm going to connect each and everything together. So I would get a seven member ring in this case, correct? So what exactly happens over here? So this is epsilon caprolactam, right? Um, so alpha, beta, gamma, and all. So that way you have epsilon caprolactam. Lactam means cyclic ester. So the bond breaks this way, right? So it may undergo hydrolysis to form a nylon 6 polymer, right? So the polymer could be something like this. You have NH, then you have something like CH2, 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 CH2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I would write this as CH2 5 times and then C double bond O, correct? So one possibility could be this could involve a hydrolysis reactions and thereby uh, having some other reactions from which the polymer could be easily obtained. So N such molecules would give something like this. So this is basically the best option for this particular question. So the correct answer is option number 4. Okay, so the correct answer for this particular question is option 4, which is nylon 6. Okay, so I hope you have liked this video and kindly subscribe, comment or like to get more updates and videos.